Remember, it's microscopic that's really going on. Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Kiltz, owner and director of CNY Fertility Centers. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist. I'm a fertility specialist. I've been in this field for nearly 30 years. Men and women, it takes an egg and a sperm and an embryo. 50% of the time it's caused by the sperm, the guy, and 50% it's caused by the egg, the womb, the uterus, and the woman. Today, we're gonna to focus on the guy. What's going on? What's wrong? Even when it looks normal. There's plenty of sperm. It's moving around normally. Great motility. And it looks great too. What's wrong? Remember, it's microscopic that's really going on. There's likely lots of inflammation in and around the testicles. Now, you can also have no sperm. That's called azospermia. There may be a blockage. It may be congenital, you're born with it, or it may be secondary to some trauma or surgical procedure. This must be investigated through your history and a physical exam. But if there's no sperm and the testicles are reasonable normal size, it may simply be a biopsy to identify if you have sperm. Sometimes it might be an open biopsy to identify if you have sperm, which can be used for in vitro fertilization. Now, what happens if the sperm is there, but it's not normal? Well, then the question is, what's the cause? We want to do everything we can to look at possibilities of some inflammatory process or something you're consuming, either in drink or food or smoking, that may be causing the problem. Or are you taking steroids that might be a factor in reducing your sperm function count and maybe even making it zero. It's important to look at these things. Simply talk to your doctor. Talk to one of our experts at CNY Fertility Centers. Now, you look at the sperm, you do a semen analysis. We look at the volume, the count, the motility, and the morphology. It looks all normal. Well, what's the problem now? Back again. What are you consuming? What type of stress are you living under? Is it possible that you're exercising too much, heating up the body, or heating up the testicles because you're sitting at your desk too much, or you're sitting driving a car or a truck too much? These are common causes of reduced sperm function. Let's talk about inflammation and male factor infertility. It looks all normal. Is it possible that we need to look deeper? DNA fragmentation, and look at morphology again, where you might find that your level is below 4%, and that's an issue. Once again, it's inflammation. And what can we do to reduce that? Well, again, reduce your stress. Slow it down. Cool it down. Look at Dr. Kiltz's keto lifestyle, or look at the Fertile Feast for some information to reduce inflammation by going keto. Now, all I'm about is keto, I know. I don't want to stress you out you might find some really helpful hints, even if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. It's really more simple than you know. Male factor infertility, it is common. Even when it all looks normal, there are ways to help. Check out the Family Building Guide by CMY Fertility. Check out our website or talk to one of our providers and practitioners to help you in this journey. Today we talked about male factor infertility and ways to improve your sperm, its function, and ultimately having a baby. You can learn more by going to our website at cmyfertility.com or checking out our books on Amazon. But don't forget to like and subscribe to get much more information and check out our TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for joining me, Dr. Rob Kiltz. God bless.